Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and I am really excited to open up this guy who is the first release in the Briar 2018 Stablemates Club. And what I'm also really excited about is that Briar is changing it up. Before, in the past two years, I guess it's been two years they've been doing the Stablemate Club. They've been doing them in these little like blue satin baggies, as you can see, which are nice and cute. But this time they are doing them in these little briar boxes and I've seen pictures of them. They look so cute. So I'm really, really excited to check this out. So I've already uh, cut the little paper thing there. So we should be able to open this pretty easily, hopefully. There we go. Oh my goodness, and there it is right in front. Oh my gosh, look at this little bitty tiny little briar box. Oh my gosh, it is like really squished in there. There we go. Oh, that is it. There's not even a packing slip. Normally they put a packing slip in there. Oh well, oh my goodness, look at this guys. This is amazing. It's a little itty bitty tiny little briar box. This is so exciting. Look at this little box. It's got cardboard dust on it, but it is so cute. It is exactly like a normal size briar box, just tiny, like it even has the picture of the like horse. This is usually the picture on the side of the briar boxes, depending on the model sometimes, but usually they have this picture of the horse on there. That's just, just like the real boxes. The bottom, celebrating the spirit of the horse. That is so, so cool. And like even the plastic is just how it is on the briar boxes and the cutouts. It's just amazing. And the back here, oh my goodness, look how cute. Briar Stable Mates Collectors Club from Beautiful Horse to Briar Model. Very, very cool. We got a pretty picture of a, I don't know what kind of horse this is. Like it almost looks like an Andalusian or something though. And then they have, I want to say this was the 2015 Stable Mate Club release. I may be wrong on that though. And then this was last year's 2016's first release was Coco. We have a video on her on, on about her if you want to see that. And then this is what's most exciting. I saw a picture of this earlier before too, but this is the Stablemate new mold for this year. And it is a Arabian, which looks like it's galloping or something. Kind of like a really striking pose there. So that is the first look at that. We have not really seen it yet. This is the first first kind of look you get to see at the sculpt there. I'm really excited about it. I think it's, it looks really pretty. I know some people said the legs look kind of funky and they do look kind of funky, but it does look really pretty, I think. So I'm excited. Just noticed too, look at this detail with the bordering, this kind of blue border around the pictures. That's amazing. They also have a little photo credit there. Even look how tiny, maker of the world's finest model horses since 1950. It is just amazing, like miniature briar box. I'm just so woo, happy about this. I've seen people make a lot of miniature briar boxes in the past, but to actually have one that briar made is crazy. And so this is just amazing. I can't get over how accurate it is. And it even has a barcode with the horse's name, which is uh, Ko Kohana. I'm not even gonna try. Honestly, you know, let's just not deal with names. And we've been looking at the box this whole time, and um, we should probably look at the horse, but also I noticed the background too is just like a briar box. They have like a pretty field background there. That is just so cool. I can't get over this. And so here's our little horse though. The horse seems to be held in with like little rubber bands. And this horse, oh my goodness, it is so stunning. These cuts, these markings. The mapping is amazing. This was actually one of the main reasons I joined the Stablemate Club. I was not sure I was gonna join this year, but it seemed like a lot of models they were gonna have, I really liked, so this was one of them. He was one of the deal breakers for me deciding to join the Stablemate Club. Oh my gosh, and this is so cool. I know people were like, should we even take him out of the box? Because he looks so cool in his little mini box. We are, of course, going to take him out of the box, though. I wanna be careful here and not mess up the box too much or anything when we cut this little guy out of here because I am definitely going to keep this little box. There we 
go, just like a kind of a normal briar box. Look at that, that is so crazy detailed of just being like a real giant briar box. It's amazing. There we go, it slides right out on there. Amazing. And then here we have just little, little, um, like little rubber things here. We're just gonna cut off. And the only bad thing is it is taking a lot longer to unbox these little guys. Normally I just like pull them out of little bags and unwrap the bubble wrap and they're good to go. But this guy is gonna take a little more effort, especially since I don't wanna completely rip off the box in order to get to him. Oh my goodness, there he is. So here we have our empty little briar box. It's so amazing. Now let's look at this little guy. So here he is, and you can see he is a very colorful roan paint horse. Just crazy colors. I, wow, he is stunning. He doesn't seem to really have many flaws. I see a couple little tiny paint flaws here and there. One tiny little mold flaw, but I mean, he looks really nice. The only biggest thing I noticed is the little red paint on the feather kind of got on his mane. And the, feather, the feathers are a little sloppily painted too. They look kind of like a little too much paint got on them and they were supposed to be a nice wash. But instead they got a little too much paint and they look kind of funky, but oh well. They look really, it's still really cool to have a little, little, little stable mate with feathers in his mane. This guy is so pretty, oh my gosh. His eye is uh, black and white, which is really nice. See it have two colors on it. Look at that face, oh my goodness. And there is his beautiful blue eye, which actually has three colors going on. It has a black pupil, it has a little bit of pink, and then the pretty light blue color there. His nose looks like it has a little bit of, just like on his face in general, has some pink shading on this side. And this mapping, I can't get over how cool that mapping is. I love, love, love that. Look at those markings. They're so pretty. Oh my goodness. And that roaning just really tops it off. Really makes him a wow, wow factor in color. Look at those cr crazy markings. Look at all that mapping. That is just amazing. I, haven't, I, I don't see Briar do mapping on their models too often, so this is really cool to see. I notice his back legs a little bent, but oh well, that's an easy fix. Look at that roaning, so pretty. It's a really pretty black mane and tail. Still can't get over those markings. They look really nicely done too, really crisp. Really nice masking, really crisp colors. So nice, and look at his little feet, they're really cute. Little peach colored hooves, I like this little like sock. On this foot, even that sock has mapping. That is crazy cool. I love that face. Super, super gorgeous little stable mate. So the mold flaw, I guess I'll show the little flaws that I saw in case you're curious, is uh, it's just in the mold. There's like a line that runs here and then like down his barrel. Not really sure what the deal is with that, but just kind of a weird little mold thing. But. You can't even see it unless in like a certain, when it catches the light in certain ways. There's like a rough seam on his neck. That's about it there though, I think. Like I said, that painted feather we already discussed. And then he does have like a couple little black marks on his leg here, but those can be easily fixed. But otherwise, he looks fantastic. Just those like three things really stand out to me. He looks so pretty. I am really happy with this guy. He is definitely one of the main reasons I decided to join again. That and the fact that I found out the little boxes were coming too, because these are just so cute. So incredibly cute. So there is that guy. He is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like him. You guys can let me know uh, what your thoughts are on him in the comment section down below let me know what you think about him if you like him or if you would have liked to see this color on a different horse but there he is I think he is absolutely stunning and then just one more quick thing I mean you don't have to keep watching if you're not interested but I just wanted to show real quickly some a couple Disney pins I got in the mail today as well 
that I already opened up. But I am a big collector of Bolt from the Disney Bolt doggy. I just love him. He is so cute and I love that movie so much. So I got a couple pins here that I've been wanting. This is one of the opening day pins. So you see opening day 2008. It's really cool because Bolt's little tag actually turns and rotates. And this is a limited edition of 3000. And it's just a really cool pin, I think. I really like this one. It's super cute. And then this one, another one, is a kind of the opening for Bolt. It says The Adventure Begins 2008. And it's got Bolt and Penny kind of in a neat kind of comic book style, I almost want to say. Looks really neat. And this one is a limited edition of 2500. And then lastly, this is just a little open edition stitch pin. That is really cute to add to my little collection of stitch pins. So there's those also. But that is all guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!